hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we detect the ledges now in this video we will be adding the jump down parkour action so for that open up the mixemo.com website and make sure that you have added your own character okay then or uh, right here search for jumping and you will find this jumping up animation okay make sure that you download this so let's click on download fpx for unity the skin will be without skin then click download once you download this animation now let's go ahead and search for hard landing and you will find this hard landing animation okay click on download the setting will be the same for this one as well click download after this let's go ahead and now search for jumping and you will find this jumping animation okay this is the description of the animation click on download the setting will be the same for this one as well then after this search for fall a landing to idle and you will find this animation download this one as well then after this our last animation will be by the name of falling idle as you can see this is the animation so make sure that you downloaded this last animation as well then after downloading all of the animation let's click on the animations folder and right here we will create another folder by the name of jump down animations let's open this up and in there let's drag and drop these downloaded animations now so drag and drop it right in here then what we will do we will change the rig of all of these animation to humanoid then copy from other avatar and then select the main mesh click apply if we check the animation now drag and drop the player in there as you can see the animation is looking perfectly fine now let's do it for the other ones as well so humanoid copy from other avatar select main mesh click apply then for this one as well click apply then right here and then we have this last one so just simply select the main mesh and click apply so once you do all of that now if we click on player as you can see these all animations are working perfectly fine now what we need to do is to select the animation which is by the name of jumping okay this one because first of all we will be adding the jump down parkour action for these small obstacles okay so now if you select this animation what we will do with this is as you know the loop match is a green sign so we will click on bake into post change it to original and then right here in the loop transform y we will change this to feet and then click apply and if you notice now the player is not rotating and also the animation is set to feet as well okay and when you, once you do that we need to trim this animation as well so from the start we will trim the animation to 25 and from the end we will trim it to 48 okay and the reason I know the exact values is because I have already checked this animation okay from this animation we just remove the running part okay we just leave the jump up part as you can see the player now on the jump in this animation let me tell you guys that we will be joining these animations in order to create a fully animation okay so this will be our first animation when the player jump off the obstacle now we need a animation in which the player will be in air so for example this falling idol okay so what we need to do with this falling idol is we will be playing this animation till that point in which the player is in air okay so we will change this to loop time loop pose change this to original peg into pose peg into pose right here as well and change this to original as well then click apply that's it 
now the player jumps off the obstacle the player is in the air now we need a uh, animation in which the player will stand on the ground so if you notice this fall a land to standing idle okay we now need to set this animation as well on this animation from the end we will cut the frame till 17 okay because we don't need the part in which the player goes down to the ground as you can see the player heads goes down a little bit okay we don't need that part so that is the reason why we will be just cutting the end 17 right here click on begin to pose select original since this is a green sign and right here we will change the position y to feet only okay click apply and that will be it okay so now when the player moves down and as you can see the player moves up again so now when the player moves up then after that we will set the player back to basic locomotions okay when we set this animation you will understand it even more perfectly so now let's go ahead and click on animator and right here we need to add this animation so the first one will be this jump jumping actually so let's drag and drop this right here okay then after the jumping we need the in air animation okay which is this falling idle okay so let's add the falling idle right here and then we need the landing so this is the landing animation let's drag and drop that at the end okay then from jumping make a transition to falling idle then from falling idle to the third one and then from the third word third one it will be then to the basic locomotion and then if you select this as you know when the player lands the player will get back into locomotion and now right here when the player is in the air we want the player to know that yes you are in air okay and also when the player reaches the surface we will be letting know the player that you reaches the surface okay as you can see this transition from falling idle to landing okay right here we will know the player that now you are on the surface you can now stop playing the falling animation and just simply play the landing animation so how we will do that right here in the parameters we will create a bool or you can say boolean by the name of surface actually it's on surface and then in this transition we will simply add a condition and in this condition we will make the on surface true right here remove this as exact time now after this if you go inside the scripts then parkour actions right here let's create a new folder by the name of jump down actions and inside this jump down actions we will be adding our jump down actions before creating any jump down parkour action let's click on this jumping and let's change its name to jump down okay then inside this jump down actions what we will do is we will create a new parkour action by the name of jump down action or let's just say just jump down okay same as our animation name then in here we just need to provide the animation name so the animation name will be jump down and that will be it for this jump down parkour action we don't need to apply all of the other things now after this go ahead and open up your parkour controller script and now we will be performing our jump down parkour action but before doing that let me tell you one thing that we will be having just two jump down parkour action so we don't need to create a new list for our jump down parkour action and then add them to the list and type all of that code okay what we will do we will just simply create a reference on the parkour controller script for the jump down parkour action okay then we will attach that right there and then we will perform this jump down parkour action okay so first of all right after the player script reference let's create a serialize field okay and this will be of type new parkour action and let's name this as jump down parkour action then after this 
after this if condition we will add another if condition and in this one we will say that if player script dot player on ledge it means that if the player is on ledge okay and also the player is not in action okay it means that if the player is not performing any parkour action then what we want to do we want to play the jump down parkour action so first of all we will need to set the player on ledge to false so we will say player script dot player on ledge equals to false since the player is not on the ledge now and when the player is not on the ledge we need to perform now the jump down parkour action so for that we will say start coroutine and then we will call the perform parkour action method and as you know it needs a parkour action so in the round brackets we will pass jump down parkour action and that will be it then as you know that when the player lands before landing actually so before landing we need to make the on surface bool of our animator we need to set that to true so in order to do that click on the player script and right here above this debug dot log we will say animator dot set bool we want to set the on surface bool so we will say on surface and we will set this to on surface okay so if the on surface is true then the animator on surface bool will also be true and if it is false then the on surface of the animator controller will also be false now if we save this get back to unity right here okay as you know that now we need to provide the jump down parkour action so what we're gonna do we will just simply drag and drop our jump down action in there then let's go ahead and play the game let's now go ahead and test out our jump down parkour action and when we play it you will notice that there will be a bug okay because if we move as you know the player is performing it again and again and now as you can see when the player jumps down the animation is playing perfectly fine but if you notice there is this bug okay so in the next video what we will be doing is fixing this bug in our jump down parkour action